LIU Brooklyn may have a small campus enrollment of 4,300, but they're doing mighty things in the Northeast Conference for the third straight year. They're headed back to the NCAA tournament after beating Mount St. Mary's in the conference final last night. Joining us from CBS Sports and Sports Illustrated to discuss is Seth Davis. Seth, you tweeted that Long Island could be the first 16-1 upset. Why do you feel the Blackbirds are so dangerous? The, the main thing, Ray, is that this is their third straight NCAA tournament. It is extremely hard to simulate and replicate the feeling of playing in a tournament where if you lose that game, uh, you're going home. And the intimidation of playing the so-called power conference school. So in the first place, a school like LIU, uh, having gone through their conference tournament, knowing that they cannot get an at-large bid, They've already played that single elimination type of a game. And then the fact that all of these players have essentially been in the NCAA tournament two additional times, uh, you know, it's quite possible they could end up having more uh, NCAA tournament experience than a lot of uh, so-called power conference teams. And then, and then they're just very talented. I love the way they play. I love the fact that they can score. There are going to be a lot of possessions, and, and they're able to impose their style. They have a terrific point guard in Jason Brickman and a lot of high-scoring wings. Just a real fun, entertaining uh, type of team to watch. I frankly wish that more power conference teams played that style. College basketball would be a lot more fun to watch. Seth, it's interesting you mentioned the experience there. We're pleased to be joined by one of the young men who will be making his third consecutive trip with LIU. We bring in forward Jamal Olasuwer. Jamal, first of all, congratulations. You're the NEC Player of the Year. You had 15 points, 10 rebounds in the victory last night. It's not been easy this season for the Blackbirds going back to last fall. Some players were suspended this season. You lost your top player to a torn ACL in December. How is your team able to overcome all of that and get back to the NCAA tournament? Well, we've been a tight knit family for a while now. You know, we, we were built on, uh, you know, staying together and, you know, through adversity. You know, we were hit with a lot actually early with, uh, yeah, with the suspensions. And then, you know, your player of the year goes down and you, you can go one or two ways. And, you know, uh, Coach Perry brought to our attention, uh, you know, well, how do we want to write this book? You know, we can either uh, we can either say, yeah, our player of the year went down, we could just give up, you know, or we could just uh, we could uh, just rally together, you know, come together and, and win a championship like we did. How much of an advantage do you think it is the fact uh, your experience in having played in the NCAA tournament? Oh, I think experience is key. Uh, like you guys said before, you know, some of these power teams that are coming to play in the tournament really don't have the experience that we had. And I feel like the five player, five seniors who've been here who are on this team, you know, with the experience we have, we can possibly pull, pull something special out. The makeup your, of your team is is quite interesting because here's a team based in Brooklyn, the 718 area code. You're from Maryland. You're, you're a relative local on this team. You've got a lot of players coming from the state of Texas. Uh, how unusual does it feel for you to have all of these guys from uh, the state of Texas and, and, and a team – playing in Brooklyn without a lot of New York players on it. Do you feel like that's something that works to your advantage? Uh, yeah, you know, we have we have a lot of different coaches on this team, you know, and it just makes us tighter, you know. We understand each other, you know, and coming into Brooklyn, you would have thought that you would, there would have been more New Yorkers here, but, I mean, I think uh, Perry and Perry have done a great job in recruiting outside of uh, New York, and I think that's made us a lot closer. Jamal, take me back to last year. You lose your coach. He goes to Duquesne. How much of a concern was there amongst the players that the school would hire somebody from outside of the school? And how much of a relief was it to you guys that they promoted an assistant coach from within, somebody that you know and you've played for and who recruited you? Uh, well, to be real, when, you know, Ferry got the job, we all were devastated. You know, it sucks to lose a coach, you know, who's been there for you for the last two, three years. You know, you're hoping you can go out on a, uh, you know, with the same coach. But, you know, Perry, Perry recruited all of us here. Perry was... You know, we, we had a great relationship with him. He has a great personality. And, you know, we, we, he was really one, one of the coaches we can go to go and talk to. So him being the head coach and, and, and you know, picking up what Jim Perry left off was, you know, I think good for us. And I'm, I'm certainly glad they didn't go outside of uh, the school to pick up anybody else. Well, guys, this is one of the great stories of March so far. Seth, Seth Davis, thank you very much. And Jamal Olasaware, uh, best of luck to you. Thank you so much. How does a brand new 60 inch LED Samsung TV sound? Here's how you can win one just in time for the NCAA tournament starting March 17th. Campus Insiders will be hosting a watch and win sweepstakes on our Facebook page. Just click on the sweepstakes icon, watch the Insiders video and guess what school they're from. It's that easy.